Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Train Expert channel. This is my first and only video I'm going to have today. Um, yesterday, I took a picture of this Elko 85. It's sitting over by the open car. Yeah, their fingers. <laughs> yep, yeah, we have an edging over at that open, out of the open car. They just painted it brown, just like they did with the 75. And then, they didn't put that OC and T sign yet, but it did put the, the 85 on there, as well as the Oil Creek and Titusville sign as well. They done that with the former Canadian National a couple of years ago, and then last decade with that Alco 75. And then pretty good with this Alco Cause out of all them train rides I go to, I never done I never done three engines. I have two. I have got the seventy five and and the former Canadian National unit, but that's been it. We had to go. We had to take the former Canadian National last year. Or I'm sorry, earlier this year to the um to the train rides we went, but and then that was pretty good. That picture of that they painted the head like yellow and then everything else, most of it like yellow, and then I got and then the eighty five number was on here like three four times, and then that Oil Creek and Titusville side on there as well. But they never yet changed their bells or the horn yet, but I think they're going to keep them like that. This is the former um, Lake Erie, New York and Lake Erie locomotive. And that's what the 75 said as well. And then the bigger engine used to be a Canadian National unit. And then... But I had... I got trains with the Alco 85 and former Canadian Nationals, but I don't have pictures with the 75 yet, or videos with the 75 yet, but I have once on there, and it wasn't lead, it was actually trailed. That's why... Hopefully soon we'll have the 75 on there on my page, but not this year. It was last, if I had that YouTube early last year, I would have had Alco 75s on there. So that'll be but it's it's hooked up on the open car at the end it was hooked up at the end of the pa that train picture was hooked up at the passenger train 
here. So it's a good picture to show us here. Yep. Phone just got just almost shut off, so <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good picture perfect on there. I was over we were over at the Caboose Motels yesterday and get a better shot. So as I get um, time on the phone, maybe a little bit later today, um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll have um, um, Jolene put a picture on that, and then I'll put it on my train experts page in the next couple days. But so. But she don't, usually don't take pictures of trains that. That much anyway, but still. And it probably won't have a train. We don't have, we don't have a passenger run again until. Until the, the, the day after Thanksgiving. Or should be two days after Thanksgiving, and then <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Just, just like I, just like I said back in the last video, I said they eighty-five and seventy-five are sisters. Good as the only we have the two of those plus the and that Alco unit was on there. It's pretty good on there. They they we did well. It did, we did use the Alco unit after, after yesterday after they had the Oil City run because they had to do one thing at the at the Charter Plastics. And then later we had a, I had, I had four videos of this. I got two with a light power train and two with a really short grain hopper train. That's why. Pretty good. I had to go get the crossings the second time, not the first time around. I should have done that at this. At this, I should have done a cup one video at Sable Lots parking lot. But the last time, I got that Charter Plastics train. That engineer made me make me nervous that day. But Tom didn't make me nervous, but the but the the engineer made me nervous. I don't know why. So Alright, I think I'm gonna get off of this. Um 
I just, just, just showing you right now that we got the Alco S2 was remodeling. I just remodeled it like two weeks ago. It, you, the engine used to be green, and now it's black and yellow, just like, just like they did with the Alco 75. That's why, um, it used to be green and yellow on there, and now it's, they re, they repainted it yellow. But they still didn't change their new cast yet. That new cast horn was still on there. Right there. Yeah, we got a little piece of the of the gondola car. Up there was the gondola car was part of the part of the passenger train on there too. Hmm. What's that, Jay? What about uh, Alco? 75 in this? No, 75's over. 75's over. 75's buried between the the Chessy Caboose and the Two of those, Alco, and the, and the, Alco, um, or excuse me, the two, two empty passenger cars, excuse me, I can't, or something. All right, I'm going to end, I'm going to get off here. Um, I just, just, I just love So I don't think I'd ever had a train mate between the freight and passenger, between the mix freight and passenger train combination. So, or bear. Because the only engines I took for the train rides is 75 and former whoops, 75 and former Canadian National Unit, but that's been it. So. And I didn't know the, usually I thought the 85 I thought was going to be out of service, but nope, they're using it now. Because like I said, they haven't run this in over a decade. They actually run this in three consecutive, now this is four consecutive decades with this 85 unit. Between the ni late 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and now in 2020s. Yeah. All right. I'm going to. All right. I think this is pretty much going to be it for now for this. All right, this is pretty much going to be it for you 
for today here on Jeffrey the Train Expert. Just just showing you, just letting you know. I'm just taking, just showing you the picture real quick on there. So thanks for watching. Jeffrey the Train Expert live train video on YouTube. So, so I'm going to get off right now, and thanks for watching Jeffrey the Train Expert live train video on YouTube. Um, Jolene and I talked about we're going to be on on Wednesday for more trains, because I was going to be back on Monday for more trains, but the Weather Channel said it's supposed to snow. This weekend, this all weekend, so, so instead of we're getting train videos on Monday, I'm not going to be getting any train videos until Wednesday, so we have more time to get, so we have more time. Uh, so we have more time, uh, uh, so we can do the stuff while it's not snowing or anything, but if it's a chance of rain is okay, but when we have, but I don't get very much rail fanning in snow. And snow wise, because right there. So. So, so, so this is going to be it for today for Jeffrey the Train Expert. Thanks for watching Jeffrey the Train Expert live train video picture, OCNT picture edition. We'll be back. As I said, we'll be back on on Wednesday for more train videos instead of Monday because of the weather. That's what we're going to be doing. So, so we have so I have an extra day to upload. I have and by the don't forget I got a premiere um um I got a premiere either tonight at at seven or eight o'clock tonight. It's a, it's a tanker, and a it's a tanker. Tankers, at a OC and T passenger train, at the Ren Farm station, and then I and then later in that video I got a um. There's a there's gonna be tankers in this one too. So there's gonna be a a tanker and passenger combination in this one they'll be on there tomorrow and monday as well and then the next couple days i'll have tanker trains on there as well so so i think that's what i'm gonna do so that's pretty good pretty good so and this is also my last passenger runs of the year Unless I'll get one or two, unless I'll get one on Christmas, but we'll see. So, so we'll see about that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this and we'll talk to you guys on Wednesday for more train videos. Talk to you later and thanks for watching Jeffrey the Train Expert live train video on YouTube. Picture edition.